Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode of Curtin Biz Buzz. Today, we are honoured to have Dr. Goi Chai Li share his views and experience on the topic Online Learning and Teaching with Technologies. Dr. Goi is a lecturer with the Faculty of Business at Curtin University, Malaysia. He has a PhD in Business Management, specialising in Internet Marketing. He has been an academic staff for almost 20 years and is highly experienced. Besides his passion as a lecturer, he is also active in doing research, mainly in the topics of internet marketing and consumer behaviour. Throughout his career, he has done numerous research publications, academic journal articles, conference proceedings and research projects and also he is a reviewer of academic journals. Hello Dr. Goy. Hi. Welcome. Welcome Hi. and thank you for joining us in our short interview today. Your topic is on online learning and teaching with technologies. Now, you have had many years of experience as a lecturer in marketing units. Mm. I personally feel that marketing is very fun and fascinating um, with many opportunities to enhance lessons with in-class activities. As we know that in-person classes were halted, some changes were made to the delivery of your lessons. We appreciate you spending some time to share what has changed and how has it impacted your teaching and students' learning. Let's get started on your topic. So I have actually um, came up with a few questions to ask and uh, let's get started on the first question. Now, was it challenging for you to move the lessons online abruptly? What were some of the challenges faced? Um, I, I, I will highlight a few uh, challenges, uh, especially uh, suddenly since last year, uh, March 18, uh, when we are locked down or MCO, so I will list out a few challenges. Actually, number one, actually, what I have realized, are we ready, especially uh, whether all students are really ready for this change because uh, we move from uh, physical classes to online learnings. So in this case, we need to use uh, new technologies in our learning process. Uh, number two, I think uh, in this case, um, as the lecturers, even for the student, we need to transfer all the le learning activities to online learnings. This means we need to, uh, from the classroom, we need to move from uh, to this uh, online platform in this case. Number three, actually, I think which is uh, very important. Actually, uh, even a student commented about that related to, uh, for some students, because they are not in the campus, it's related to internet access and sometimes actually uh, how uh, due to this uh, um, network problem they cannot uh, attend uh, these classes because for me uh, I, I conduct uh, le uh, lectures, uh, tutorial and seminars sometimes they cannot uh, attend uh, these class, classes due to these uh, problems Okay, thank you Dr. Goy so I understand that yeah, there, will be, there was a bit of a rush yeah to transfer, to do the transferring to fully online. So I think uh, it was a challenge not only for the lecturers, but also for the students as well. All right. So now um, to ask some of your, um, your pre-pandemic in-class activities, what were some of the activities that you had before the lockdown or before the pandemic? How were you able to move those activities online? Okay, at the beginning, actually, especially in 2020, uh, most uh, all of these activities will be conducted uh, in the classroom. For example, uh, I, I was dealing with two units uh, in uh, uh, semester uh, one and two in 2020. One of the units, uh, for example, like business capstone, we need to have uh, uh, this, uh, all the seminars in uh, computer labs. So this is one of the problems actually, how actually we need to move this um, uh, all classes activities actually to uh, online platform. But however we manage to do that, for example, uh, for this unit like Business Capstone, uh, one of the activities is uh, game based uh, activities. We need to use uh, uh, one of the tools, one of the application called uh, CapSafe. So this uh, games, this is the games, it's a uh, business games actually. So students uh, will be formed, uh, will be put up in the team. So 
they can uh, they still can learn uh, based on this uh, uh, system called CAPSIMS. Uh, in this case, for semesters one in 2021, for example. So uh, we, for the program designs, we try to uh, put out some activities that we can do that online. For examples, even we play this uh, for one of the topics, for examples like uh, teamwork and leaderships. We actually um, use uh, once uh, uh, games, online games. I think quite a uh, number of you familiar with this uh, application. This is a Minecraft. We use this to uh, for the students to um, to practice this game, not just to play this game, but to learn what is teamwork and actually and leadership in this case. So uh, for for lectures, for the tutorials, and for seminars, we uh, because we cannot uh, uh, go to the classroom, so um, our we just use uh, a webinar platform, which is a Blackboard Collaborate. That's why this is this uh, uh, this arrangement will not uh, um, reflect any problems in this case. But students still can learn actually from these uh, pandemics. Hi, right, thank you for sharing. Um, I've actually heard of Minecraft many many times before, and uh, I, I I really didn't know that it was you know related to teamwork and leadership. Maybe I will give it a try after this. So thank you. Okay, it's it's making me more curious now. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, would you say that your knowledge and understanding of technologies allow the facilitation of a more effective and efficient learning and teaching session? Any specific technologies that you use? Okay, even actually uh, my first uh, background, my first degree uh, was in computer science, but however, I realized that the trend of technology really changed very fast, keep changing in this case. But however, we still need to learn a new knowledge. For example, during this uh, uh, pandemic, we really need to learn a new technologies. For example, how we need to conduct our lectures. For example, we use a uh, Blackboard Collaborate. And um, uh, for these student consultations, we use, uh, for example, like video conferencing tools like uh, Webex. Um, so we still can discuss uh, with students even for sharing some information besides we use uh, Blackboard Collaborate, actually Blackboard itself, uh, we also use uh, social media, for example, like Facebook. So as a lecturers, we can share our uh, additional uh, materials. Same thing also students can share uh, additional information. So they also can uh, put up their comment. And then uh, in this case, I think that not just uh, lecturers to share the information, but we learn from each other. In other words, students also say uh, what they know in this case through the social media. Right, I, I do agree. So learning is really a lifelong journey. Yeah? And it's great that because not only we are able to pass on the knowledge to the students, but they also can pass on their knowledge of technology to us because we know um, students, they are very technology savvy. All right. Now, you have the experience already in online teaching. It's been going on since um, 2020. Were there any feedback from students or events that impacted your teaching? Or for example, a memorable experience that you could share with us? Okay, uh, for this, uh, for end of the semesters, normally, a student need to fill in this uh, evaluation form. From this evaluation form, I realized that a student actually quite enjoy even online. Because from the feedback, I realized that they learn the new things in uh, for this part. For example, uh, like just now for business case on actually we not just learn the business theory in this case. We also use uh, business simulation games. This is uh, this simulation game actually is uh, really like the real business uh, games in this case. So uh, we form a teams uh, a few teams of five to six team in one tutorial groups actually so they can learn from each other from there they really enjoy to play this game just now i mentioned that even um from the student feedback they even actually don't realize just now, uh in, in this case how we can use some of the games just now like minecraft for examples to be applied in this teaching and learning in this case that's why uh from the feedback uh, uh quite a lot of students they really, uh, from the feedback, they say this is the different experience. They really like it and, and they enjoy uh, they enjoy it. 
Right, that's great because I think、um, when it comes to games, right, I think most people will enjoy it. So, and you know, you embed it into the learning process, it makes it more fun for the students as well. Right, so we're almost at the end of our interview today. So I have one final question for you. So、uh, I would like to know your rounding comments for our viewers on the topic. For example, what is your view on the future of face-to-face -face versus online teaching, or how has technology helped、um, in delivering of your marketing lessons? Okay, actually,、um, indeed, actually during this pandemic, actually, but with the new technology. Uh, actually, we are able to overcome these problems. There is no problem、uh, in this case. But, however, in this case, we need to move forward to follow the、uh, a new pace actually, and we need to learn a new things in this case. So, however, for me,、um, online classroom,、uh, online classroom, online learning, actually, is not totally. To be replaced by、uh, to replace this uh, uh, physical classroom, but it is an alternative to solve the current pandemic, so that students still can learn, they still can enjoy learning, and then they still can work together as a team with a friend. In this case, because for me, students actually able to learn from everywhere and any time. In this case, so for me, education has changed uh, dramatically. Uh, Dramatically, but however, actually, with the rise of e-learning, teaching actually is undertaken remotely on the digital platform. So that means actually,、um, for us actually, no matter we are as a, a lecturers, we are as students, actually,、um, we need to.、Uh, just now I mentioned that we really need to learn how to use this technology again,、uh, and also finally. We need to learn a new thing. All right. Thank you very much, Doctor Goy, for sharing. It was our pleasure having you here on today's episode. We have come to the end of our program. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.